All right, what's good, YouTube? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Today, we got a simple challenge. So this challenge is it's fresh. It brings something I've been looking for and trying to accomplish for a minute. It brings discipline, momentum. It brings growth. And that's the main thing about like being disciplined in trading is finding out a system that works for you so you can grow while also remaining level-headed and able to take your emotions out of it. My method is one that I hear all the time and always come across, but I could never wrap my head about how to do it. And it takes that one-on-one -on -one and sitting there steady ask yourself the same question over and over to really tell yourself how to do so. I call it the $500 30-day 5% challenge. I know it's a long mouthful. Pause. I know it's a long title, but it all makes sense. The purpose of the challenge is to start another outside income. So, as you already know, I work at the shop. So the shop is my main job. And trading is something I'm trying to pick up as a secondary skill. It's something that can make me money outside of me working and having to do work and labor at the shop to eventually be able to find something even bigger like you know what I'm saying go bigger than that real estate anything whatever I want to do that can be funded outside of me having to be hands-on on a job so to trigger all this challenge I gotta explain exactly how everything goes so in this challenge you have $500 initially and for the first week you want to be disciplined to only trade 5% and going for 15% of your account so I want to go for one to three plus where you're going for a trade and forex Alright, so we're in edit mode right now. We had to take a little delay, but keep watching. I'm gonna explain what the next part of this video is gonna switch into. So let me throw y'all back into this show. So with that being said, I am moving. I'm taking a break from the challenge because as my advice stand, you shouldn't trade with your back against the wall. So with that being said, you basically just say that right now we'll be branching off into a whole nother challenge. So this challenge would be the 15 day moving. If you made it this far in the video already, go ahead and like and subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss nothing I got coming up next. With that being said, I'm doing a giveaway. The first comment I see of my dog named Fetty, I'm gonna like it and send you $20 on Cash App. Zelle, Apple Pay, whatever you got. I'm gonna be throwing this in every video, just a way of engagement, like to make people just look around for it. I might sometimes do it in voiceovers. I might sometimes just ask the question on screen and then you just gotta look for it and wait for it to pop up. I might just do it like that. And don't be the first person to see this and sleep on it because it might not be this easy next time I do this. I'm just throwing it out here for the first time so y'all can see it. But moving forward, I ain't finna be giving on no free money short. I ain't no bank. And I know all y'all big meats. Like, what the fuck is $20? But don't trip, sometimes it might be a little more than that. You never know, so you gotta tune in. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'm coming back better than ever, and we're on a roll to that 1K subscribers. Now let's get back to this banger. So now, in this subcategory, of this video, I'm gonna be moving. You gotta make the moves and prioritize what's important and what's beneficial to the future. So I aspire to be a homeowner soon. And I was gonna buy a home after coming off my first house that I rented, that was my first home on my own. And so I was looking to buy a home after that. But my cousin's a college student and he goes to school and lives downtown. And he been on my ass for a year, telling me that what I'm saying, come downtown, come move downtown, experience downtown, this and that is different, all that type of shit like that. My cousin also mad prejudice, so his reasons be stupid, like, oh, niggas don't do this, or it ain't all that, it, is, it, be, it be stupid and ignorant. So that was all the reason I didn't like it. But I had to find my own reasonings and take what I needed from the information he was saying. Like, it's a new experience, that's true. Is man saying more opportunity, it's, just, it's more peaceful and shit like that. That's also true. So that's the type of stuff I need to try, and I wanted to try 
to scratch off my bucket list before I purchase the home. And I also feel like it would've been better for my content, like with me and the, and the type of videos I wanna make and the type of people I wanna reach and connect with, it's a better opportunity for me to be downtown in that area and interact with these type of people. And the situation and scenery, me having a full developed office now in my next house and stuff like that, is better for me to have a recording studio. Like a recording situation where I can comfortably always come here and be my wind down spot. I can edit my videos, I can read, I can practice trading, everything going on in this spot. And give me like free space. I can now open my house up. I never used my living room. I never had a living room set, none of that type of stuff like that. So it was like every time people came over, we just gathered and chilled in my room. And that's not a home. I want to experience that full house home living. And I couldn't just I couldn't do that with my first house. Like it was just uh it was just getting out of my mom's house the first thing I could find. You know what I'm saying getting up out of there it was nice. I mean it was nice, it was it was good for it to be a starter home, two bedroom, you know what I'm saying, nice kitchen. It was beautiful. It was definitely beautiful. But I just I've always been a person I had the mindset back then where I didn't want to put money into this house because I know I wouldn't be here long. I wanna be here for this year. I wanna get nothing out of it. I just be it's just a home. It's not nothing I would do on this side of town, nothing like that. Like it's just a place to come sleep, you know what I'm saying? Nothing else really. So with getting this new house, I plan on just opening my old house. Like I wanna get into building better schedules and better habits. That's builds a better person. That builds a better you. So it's like if I wanna be a successful trader, I gotta build a better habits in like my eating schedules and waking up and you know what I'm saying my reading, my studying, better interests, stuff like that. Like instead of like scrolling on my phone for an hour and all that type of little stuff that everybody make the mistakes and doing burning time and losing time doing. So that's all types type of stuff I'm working on. And being in the downtown, fast-paced city, you know what I'm saying, you got a nice little house and stuff like that that actually seems worth putting that little time into, that's what I'm going for. So this video was on a consistent pace, and I like that I had this little switch because it's going to a shift of new content I plan on making, where I just want to be down to earth for my peoples. Like the people who watch me, I want you to genuinely know who I am and how I move, my life that's going on and stuff like that. So I got bigger news and and stories and shit like that coming up soon and info about my life. But I'm just trying to, I'm saying, show a groove of, to myself really as a reflection of where I'm starting from, where I'm at, the level I'm at, the stuff I went through, and what I can accomplish. So every day, for my first challenge, I've been making sure that I record what I take home and pay every day. So with that, I'm gonna continue that. That money's not gonna be used for my challenge yet. That money's gonna be used for my next home. I'm the type of person that if I want something, I like to earn it. I don't like taking from the savings, because that's the savings from... Man! <laughs> Yo, I caught this from the side of my eye. I thought that said something completely different. I like to make the money for stuff because they feel like I earned it. Like, if I want a new car, I go make that money instead of going out of my savings and it feel like I earned a new car and it feels better to have this new car because I earned it. Instead of just, you know what I'm saying, going to my savings that secured safe money for me to, if I, if I need a bill that, that, that come up, if my car mess up, anything like that, that's what that money is for, your savings is for. You're supposed to be able to push yourself every day to go make that change and go get that what you want. So let's roll that B-roll for what we got so far. So this week was pretty busy for me outside of working. So I only managed to bring in like $400 on three days. Next week is gonna be a more high paced week being the week before the week I move in. We grinding. So next week if I don't upload, I'm gonna double the next giveaway. So you better be looking out with them post notifications on.